is it so dark? I don't know. Oh God, I'm a mess. I'm so tired today. Uh, but I really wanted to film this video for you guys. I'm um, taking the opportunity while Hazel's asleep. She's sick at the moment, teething. So yeah, that, that sums up my life. Before we get started, let me just say, my hair. I know, it's a mess. It's okay. I'm in between colours at the moment. Last time you saw me, I probably had the dark ritual colour in my hair. So um, I'm in between colours. Don't mind this. It's fine. <laughs> so if you guys are on Instagram, I've only ever seen this video on Instagram and I'm not 100% sure who the original person was to credit them. If you guys know, please let me know. I'll tag them down below. But I basically saw this hair curling technique or this blow drying technique without brushes, just using your hands, looked very quick and easy. That gave you this gorgeous, you know, wavy curls without actually having to physically round brush, blow dry your hair or, or curling irons or anything like that. Um, so I'm gonna try it out today. We're gonna to see if it works. I'm just gonna give my hair a bit of a brush and I'm going to wet my hair as well or just like dampen all the mid lengths and ends of my hair before we get started. So don't get me wrong, it looks like there is some editing in that video. It looks like, you know, it does kind of chop and change. I did read through some of the comments and they said, you know, this technique definitely does work. Other people said it doesn't work. The people that did say it works said they actually went to school for this or it takes like 20 plus minutes to do. So it is actually a long process, which gosh, if it takes 20 minutes, isn't it just easier to use a brush? Like, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so my hair is pretty damp. It's not like dripping wet, soaking. It's probably, I'd say about 50% wet, which is completely fine. When I was hairdressing, they trained us to dry it off almost 80% before you go in with a brush to actually smooth it out and style it. So this will be plenty fine. <laughs> I didn't want it to be dripping wet because that is out of focus, sorry. I didn't want it to be dripping wet because otherwise we'd be here for ages and even just the heat from the blow dryer will be enough to change the bonds and shape the hair. Basically sectioned half out of the way. I do not have a nozzle on my blow dryer. I lost it. <coughs> but basically what it looked like they did was take a section back here. If you guys can see, I hope you can see. And then they curled it underneath and basically use this to wrap the hair like this and it's almost like they were going like like spinning it like this you know i might be a bit cack handed because it's only me doing it but basically i'm kind of going to follow the same technique ish that they showed and just see if it freaking works from the center at the back go towards the ear and then start to curl it back this way okay as well i don't want to have my blow dryer on full heat because my hands are going to be here i don't want to burn myself but i still want some heat as well Okay, I honestly don't know how this differs from just normally twisting your hair, but I can definitely see how this takes a friggin' long amount of time, because wow. It's feeling kind of pretty much dry. I'll just leave it kind of setting like this and we might just come back to this side. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'm having this extra bit of hair to kind of hold on to. So I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty.
still definitely need some more. Okay, that does feel pretty dry. Oh, alrighty. I wanna, yeah, I'm gonna go over this side again just to double check it's all dry. All right, oh, just gave it another blast and then went over it with the cool shot button. So let's just have a look. I think, you know, it definitely can work. I think it obviously depends on the length of your hair, uh, how strong your hair is as well. And let me just say, you know, this is my first time trying this technique, obviously with practice, I think, you'll be a lot better at it. Even though it does look like a really, really simple technique and anyone would be able to do it, obviously there's probably a little bit more involved to it than what meets the eye. So it did give me definitely some waves. I wouldn't say it's like full on ringlets or like soft curls or anything, but more just softness and waves to my hair. As well, if I was to do this with my natural hair, because obviously my hair has been straightened. I straightened it a few days ago and then obviously dampened the ends for this video. There's no real way to really smooth out the top section of your hair. So for me, I would have like this kind of wavy frizzy mess on top and then like this kind of texture on the ends. So that may or may not work depending on the natural texture and curl of your hair. Would I do this again or would I practice this more to get really good at it? I mean, if you really like this kind of undone beachy texture, I think it's quite nice. But in saying that, it does take a long time, 10 to 15 minutes each side of doing this. And that's not even from my hair being 100% soaking wet. So it does take a long time. I think you can get this kind of result with a GHD, with a hair straightening iron, a curling tong or whatever, and you know you've got more control over it. You know that it's gonna be the desired result that you want. I find with this technique, especially if you've got uh, layers and stuff in your hair, it's a little bit hard to keep it in the twist. Parts of it will come out. If you've got really thick hair, the inside of it's gonna be still damp. Obviously you can break it up and do multiple different twists. You don't have to divide your hair in half, but yeah, I hope that makes sense. It's still pretty fun. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like from the back. I don't even know what it looks like from the back. Let's see, hopefully it will work. Um, so from the back, I don't know if it looks any good because I can't tell. Does it look good? <laughs> I definitely do think it works. I think it needs more practice than what meets the eye. I don't think that majority of people doing it for the first time are gonna get it down pat and have it perfect. But of course it does depend on your natural hair as well. My hair's always been really tough, coarse, and just hard to tame. <laughs> anyway, rainbows, thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that jazz if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.